Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest offering from Gamo, the Swarm Magnum in 22 caliber. So the Swarm Magnum announced at SHOT Show 2018, of course, uh, is Gamo's latest entry into the multi-shot break barrel world with the 10X system here on top. It's only offered in 22 caliber at this point in time. Don't know if they have plans for a 25, uh, but certainly with that Magnum gas ram, you know, in there, that IGT Mach 1 piston, that 22 caliber is definitely going to make better use of it than a 177 would. But let's check out the gun here, starting at the front. So the Swarm Maxim had the Maxim Shroud technology on it. The Swarm Magnum has the Whisper Fusion uh, kind of suppressor on the end of it, which obviously we're going to find out if that does a good job of keeping things nice and quiet for you guys. Uh, for those of you that are backyard conscious, of course. And sliding on back here, we get to that 10X system, which you guys, if you've seen the Swarm Maxim video we did, uh, you'll kind of have an idea how that works. But basically, you depress this little button on top, you pull the magazine out, you have some numbers on top there, so you load them right into the face of the magazine, one at a time, all the way up to 10 rounds. And you actually have a nice little cutout window there that displays which number or how many pellets you have left, uh, in excluding the one that is loaded in the barrel. So. Uh, it definitely is a nice way to keep track, and then when you're empty, you hit that little exclamation point, and you also have a little white dot that pops through on this window, so you can even see that, and we'll show you guys when we get out to the range, you can see that from a shoulder position, so you don't have to worry about, you know, dry firing in this gun. If you dry fire this, cock it, and then reload it without a pellet, you must have missed something, all right? That's just me being straightforward with you guys. Uh, be pretty hard to do, in my opinion. So moving back from this 10X quick shot system, we do have uh, inside of the compression chamber here, the IGT Mach 1 piston, that's Gamo's biggest and baddest piston. Uh, it says they're capable of shooting up to 1300 feet per second. That's pretty screaming. I'm assuming that's with the lead free pellet. Obviously we'll see what it does with a real world pellet, you know, seeing what it likes after and then chronographing it, of course. Uh, up on top of the compression tube, we do have their recoil reducing rail, right? So this is supposed to cut felt recoil to the scope by 99.9%, .9%, therefore uh, extending the life of your optic. Now, the Gamo scope that it comes with in the one-piece mount, uh, haven't had any issues with it yet. Uh, probably will try a different scope on it just to make sure that it is holding zero and showing me exactly what it can show me in terms of its best capabilities. Uh, but no, fixed parallax, so right around 30, 35 yards is where this has a parallax adjusted to, so that's going to be your clearest point where you can use that 9x without problems, um, but I would prefer a parallax adjustable optic every time, guys, so keep that in mind if you are looking to upgrade, that is what I would go to, whether it's a 4x, a 3 to 9, whatever you guys want. Uh, dropping down, we do have the CAT custom action trigger, fully adjustable, Gamo says. Um, I haven't adjusted this one out of the box. It's not breaking very heavy, probably around three pounds. Not the most defined first, second stage, but you can certainly feel it. And knowing it is adjustable, we'd be able to get that better if we so desired. But I want to give you guys an out-of-the-box look at the gun. Uh, and really the biggest change other than the uh, aforementioned power level, uh, you're talking about a thumb hole stock as opposed to a straight, uh, more straight wristed stock. And the cheek piece, while it does look adjustable, is not, I'm sorry to say. Um, but the gun's still coming in right around seven and a half, eight pounds with the scope mounted. So pretty light magnum gun. Um, I'm sure that's going to impact our hold sensitivity of this. I've always found that lighter weight guns are a bit more hold sensitive. And obviously somewhere just over 49 inches, you do have a pretty long rifle here. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. And I'm sure with that increased power plant capability, our cocking effort is going to go up as well. So when we head out to the range, we're going to test all of those things for you guys and give you guys a straight dope on what the Gamo Swarm Magnum can do. So let's get out there and check it out. All right, guys, so before we get started on the accuracy and the chronograph testing, wanted to show you guys quickly how this loads uh, and denote that we are only doing five shot groups today. Uh, it's like 45 to 50 pounds of cocking effort. So I'm not even sorry about not doing 10 shot groups for you guys. Uh, five shots are gonna tell us exactly what we need to know about this guy. But this is the way the 10X system works. If you haven't seen our Swarm Maxim video, so you go ahead, you have your magazine loaded up with pellets. You can see I have two rounds in here. It's gonna tell you how many rounds are still in the mag. So we go ahead, insert the mag into the 10X system, snaps in very audibly, very positively. You're gonna go ahead at that point, break the barrel, back up, and now you see it's displaying one, all right? So one pellet is loaded, it has one remaining in the magazine. So we're gonna go ahead, aim down range, take our shot, 
and then I'm gonna do it again. And this is where you get that quick follow-up. Now, now you can see that I have that exclamation point telling me that I have no rounds left. We'll go ahead, take our second shot. And you'll also notice, guys, on the back of the magazine here where you can actually see it as the shooter, you have that little white dot right there showing you that this mag is empty and that you need to refill it. If you are gonna go ahead and break that barrel again, you will dry fire the gun, so definitely not a good thing, don't do that. Let's get to some accuracy testing. All right, guys, so that was one of the more trying range sessions we've had with a gun that I can remember. Um, went through about 16 different pellets and found one that shot better than all of the others and pretty darn, like a lot better, all right? Um, so that's the Predator GTOs, which ironically were the best pellet, I think, in the regular Swarm Maxim when we tested that in 22. Um, so a three quarter inch group here at 30 yards. So certainly, you know, minute of squirrel's head every time. Uh, so very good there. And then moving it out to 45 at the very end of our range here, you have five shots within an inch, a couple going in the same hole. Probably could have been a little bit better. Honestly, guys, I'm finding the gun pretty darn hold sensitive, uh, which is making it kind of tricky to get good groups and be as consistent as possible with. Um, just to give you an idea of what some other pellets did. So this is the Barracudas um, at 45 yards, a two and a half inch group. They grouped a hell of a lot better at 30, but still when you can't, have that good transitional accuracy from distance to distance. You know, this takes that one off the table right away. Um, and then probably the second best group that we had are these Crossman uh, Premier domed pellets. So 14.3 grains. And you have uh, basically five shots within an inch and a quarter or so, uh, which is not bad. But again, really that one inch mark is what I'm looking for when I want to get an accuracy standard for a gun. Uh, and at 45 yards, we've seen plenty of spring and gas piston guns that do that. So the Gamma Swarm Magnum, very pellet picky, hold sensitive, but still shoots fairly well out to 45 yards. All right, guys, so the Gamma Swarm Magnum certainly didn't perform poorly. Uh, it was a definitely a more difficult one for us here to do. Uh, pretty hold sensitive gun because of that light weight, but a lot of power, 29 foot pounds with the Predator GTOs, which are an alloy pellet was very surprising. Um, you know, over a thousand feet per second is just screaming. Uh, definitely in that 30 to 35 yard range with that kind of power, you are going to be deadly. I mean, just devastating on game that you're going after. And having that multi-shot capability is a great add-on. Although for me, 45 to 50 pounds of cocking effort really negates a lot of that, uh, that upgrade of having those multiple shots, right? Uh, and being able to just quickly do it. It's certainly faster than if you were single loading, uh, but really makes it more trying with that heavier cocking effort. Um, very surprised the scope held up on this one. We didn't have good luck with that with the Swarm Maxim, but on the Magnum, it held up just fine. Don't know if Gamos changed something on the scope, but personally, and my recommendation to you guys, swap this out for something with an adjustable objective. Uh, just going to be more favorable in the long run if you guys want to shoot at longer distances or really close distances as well. But overall, the Gamos Swarm Magnum, if you are looking for a high-powered gas piston or spring piston air gun, this is definitely one you guys are going to want to check out in 2018. For the insider, I'm Tyler Padner. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. We'll see you at the next one.